Hello everyone, my name is Ray Tachmeng and my partner is Wendy Koo. Today we are going to present to you one antique icon drug called Warfarin. It just sits below your regular medicine on your drug chart. It has two brands and a target INR. What is that? Let's start off with what is Warfarin and the action. Warfarin inhibitor, known as vitamin K antagonist, is the production of function vitamin K dependent cyanosis of clotting factors 2, 7, 9, and 10. The formation clotting factors in the liver. This anticoagulation might be using to prevent reoccurring clotting. However, do not affect any emboli that already present. They also decrease the synthesis of protein C and S. The protein is vitamin K's anticoagulation protein. Warfarin is a long-acting coumarin derivative with an onset action of 24 to 48 hours, duration action of 2 to 5 days, average half-life of 40 hours. Because it is a therapeutic index, some patients might have a hereditary resistance to warfarin due to the effects influenced by diet, drug, and disease state. So what is warfarin is used for and the indication? It prevents stroke in patients with prior myocardial infarction and increased embolic risk. Patients with atrial fibrillation and a high risk of stroke or systemic embolism. Prevention and treatment of venous thromboembolism, VTE, thromboembolism prophylaxis for patients with either moderate or severe mitral stenosis or a mechanical heart valve. Warfarin available in two brands, Coumadin and Moverin. These two brands are interchangeable due to the bioavailability and it has a different in available dose. Let's talk about the benefit of this drug. Warfarin sodium always been the primary method for managing acute diventrombosis and pulmonary embolism and remain the oral anticoagulant choice for patients. A powerful and affecting drug, the production function of vitamin K work against the clotting process and play an important role in coagulation. It has a greater role in preventing of thromboembolism. Warfarin is indicated if the patient with atrial fibrillation have a high risk of stroke. Example, older than 75 years old or having hypertension, diabetic, heart failure, or history of stroke. A study from Murphy and Sava 2017 note that 43% low-cost specific hazard of stroke over 7 years association with the use of warfarin. Another study from Chen and Chong 2015 about clinical benefit of warfarin in dialysis patients with artery fibrillation state warfarin has been shown to reduce the frequently of stroke by 64% of patients with AF. Other benefits include pharmacy management and treatment guideline. The availability of INR record, those record of warfarin, helping pharmacy to make decisions instead of others healthcare professional. According to therapeutic guideline 2018, to achieve the international normalized ratio, which known as INR, warfarin dose is customized to ensure adequate anticoagulation with the dose adjustment. A patient with warfarin are required to have a regular blood test to detect the response to the treatment due to the narrow therapeutic window of the drug. Marija 2004 note that the risk of bleeding increased dramatically when I and R's are exceed 4. So we can detect a risk of individual patient. Therapeutic guideline of 2018 highlight that Wolverine have a slow offset anticoagulation effects following by missing dose. Wolverine also giving the benefits to pharmaceutical benefit scheme because of 1.9 million outpatients were prescribed for Wolverine dispensed in 2001. Even though Wolverine have a great role preventing of thromboembolism, what are the risks associated with it? So Wendy is going to talk about the risk of warfarin. 